Hmm. I've heard some whispers of it in pieces, but to have it all physically in front of me is... lucid. I'm happy we were able to come to an agreement of you show me yours and I'll show you mine. I can say the picture captures one of my many good sides. Really brings out the depth in my cheekbones. I expect at least the name drop in the acceptance speech for any awards they might give out for super sexy top secret photography. Anyway, let's get to what the locals actually think of me. After all, what people perceive of you is your standing on the chessboard. Matters more than you think. <clears throat> Item number SCP-035. Still not used to a singular name sticking so long, especially when it can pass for a model number of a microwave. Object class Keter. I'm looking damn fine doing it. Special containment procedures. SCP-035 is to be kept within a hermetically sealed glass case, no fewer than 10 centimeters, 4 inches thick. This case is to be contained within a steel, iron, and lead shielded room at all times. Doors are to be triple locked at all times, with the exception of allowing personnel in or out. No fewer than two armed guards are to be posted at any time. <sighs> yes, that is my dwelling. Same view every waking moment, with slight variations of meat casings. They do kindly bring me some reading material so I can stay informed with the latest hearsay of events, from the latest viral cat video to Dr. Price's branch party drunk in bathroom blunder last week. D-Class had to be dispatched for cleanup efforts. Slipping all over the place. <laughs> Remember what I said about people's perception of you? Other than that, I live in a room of my thoughts inside of a bigger room. Then again, don't we all? Guards must remain outside at all times, and are not allowed within the containment room under any circumstances. A trained psychologist is to remain on site at all times. Research personnel are not to touch SCP-035 at any time. SCP-035 must be moved to a new sealed case every two weeks. The previous case must be disposed of via SCP-101, as it shows no adverse reaction to SCP-035's corruption. Is that what they're calling it? Maybe I just like the little coin purse. It's got a mouth on it, though. <laughs> Anyone who comes into contact with SCP-035 when it is in possession of a host is to be given an immediate psychological evaluation. That's a glowing review comment. SCP-035 appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask, although at times it will change to tragedy in these events. All existing visual records, such as photographs, video footage, even illustrations of SCP-035, automatically change to reflect its new appearance. I was posting status updates before all these social media sites let you wear a more customizable you, unlocking another level of human interaction that can quickly and easily become a blood sport. I'm not the only mask that can create and destroy. A highly corrosive and degenerative viscous liquid constantly seeps from the eye and mouth holes of SCP-035. Anything coming into contact with this substance slowly decays over a period of time until it has decayed completely into a pool of the original contaminant, glass seems to react the slowest to the effects of the item. Hence the construction choice of its immediate container. Living organisms that come into contact with the substance react much the same way, with no chance of recovery. Origin of the liquid is unknown. Liquid is only visible from the front, and does not emerge or is even visible from the other side. Ooh, getting a little personal. Not true. My destructive qualities are not always of my fruition. I enjoy constructive aspects as well, but when I'm encased in a house of cards this high, the only way is eventually down. An invitation to break the pen clip off. Subjects within 1.5 to 2 meters, 5 to 6 feet, of SCP-035, or in visual contact with it, experience a strong urge to put it on. When SCP-035 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brainwave pattern from SCP-035 overlaps that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the subject. Subject then claims to be the consciousness contained within SCP-035. The bodies of possessed subjects decay at a highly accelerated rate, eventually becoming little more than mummified corpses. Nevertheless, SCP-035 has demonstrated the ability to remain in cognitive control of a body experiencing severe structural damage, even if the 
the subject's body literally decays to the point where motion is not mechanically possible. No effect is found to be had when placed on the face of an animal. I have standards, for the most part. There's so much more depth in the human mind, much more neurons firing to much more complex destinations, which can lead to an incomprehensible amount of possible decisions in any given circumstance achieving an endless amount of results. The human form itself is stimulating. The planet has seen countless evolutions of organisms, but here come these intricate primates, designed like no other to accomplish tasks never before achieved on this planet. All of a sudden they run the damn place, building those house of cards everywhere. Sometimes I just have to help steady them, stack them, connect them. You've seen those videos of people's elaborate domino setups? One flick of a single one. And a grand plan is set in motion. A gorgeous display. Conversations with SCP-035 have proven to be informative. Researchers have learned various details about other SCP objects and history in general, as SCP-035 claims to have been at many momentous events. SCP-035 displays a highly intelligent and charismatic personality, being both amiable and flattering to all of those who speak with it. SCP-035 has scored in the 99th percentile of all intelligence and aptitude tests administered to it, and appears to have a photographic memory. You're very welcome. Happy to see that my flattery can be mutual. I blush. However, psychological analysis has discovered SCP-035 to possess a highly manipulative nature, capable of forcing sudden and profound changes to interviewer's psychological state. SCP-035 has proven to be highly sadistic, prompting some to commit suicide and transforming others into near-mindless servants with linguistic persuasion alone. SCP-035 has stated that it has intimate knowledge of the workings of the human mind, and implied that it can change anyone's views if given enough time. The human brain is squishy, can be molded, rewired. Some easier than others, but at the end of the day, the construction material is all the same. Additional, SCP-035 was found in a sealed crypt in an abandoned house in Venice in 18 redacted. Yes, a wonderful time to be a part of. Initial establishment was concluded, then it was embraced. Appreciation for the arts and science was in full bloom. No longer an isolated endeavor. Feels like yesterday wrapped in ages ago. My curiosity got the best of me. Or maybe it was looking out for me. Maybe even others. A story for another time, perhaps. Addendum 035-01. SCP-035 has been found to be able to possess anything that is a humanoid shape, including mannequins, corpses, and statues. SCP-035 has been able to motivate all into movement, removing the need to expose live subjects to SCP-035. Anything it possesses inevitably decays into motionlessness. The need to expose life subjects. You are all human after all. When needs are sustained, wants take to the front. You speak of me as a monster, yet you offer me this dance time and time again with bated gaze. Really brings out the red in your eyes. There's a little friend in you to chaos whether it knows it or not. While we're on the subject of chaos, Addendum 035-02. SCP-035 has facilitated an escape attempt convincing several of the research staff to aid it in its bid for freedom. Insurrection failed. All staff that have been in contact with SCP-035 have been terminated, and mandatory psychiatric evaluations have been implemented for all personnel coming in contact with SCP-035. A bid for escape is a tad inaccurate, but if any real opportunity was there, then certainly. You and I honestly deserve better. Opt into a more dramatic exit. This was foreplay. And judging by the measures adopted soon after, it meant something to you. It was good for me too. Addendum 035-03 It has been determined that SCP-035 is capable of telepathy whether or not it possesses a host, even penetrating to the subconscious of others, and using the knowledge it finds to its advantage. Extreme caution is advised when choosing subjects to converse with SCP-035. You do in fact whisper back, but our secrets are safe with me. Addendum 035-04 SCP-035 has expressed an interest in other SCPs, most notably SCP-4715, 
and SCP-682. Dr. Redacted has expressed worry that should SCP-035 bond with either, their regenerative qualities would negate its corruption and give it a permanent host. Interest is not desire. You can't tell me you're at least not a little interested in knowing what would transpire if one of them hosted little old me. Mr. 682 would perhaps feel a little less antagonistic having his interest shift from destroying humanity to simply wanting to attend a live performance of La Donna del Lago. Addendum 035-05 after several more escape attempts and after reviewing SCP-035's incident record, High Command has ordered that it be permanently sealed within the facility and prohibited from being allowed any more hosts. Several personnel have protested against this, with some even erupting into violence. As a direct result, all personnel that have come into contact with SCP-035 have been terminated. All personnel that deal with SCP-035 are to be rotated frequently and contact is to be limited even to its dormant state to as little as possible. And yet I still manage to make fans and friends. Rules broken by role makers, corners cut. Seems like I'm not the only one who is able to corrupt around here. Addendum 035-06 Personnel within 10 meters of SCP-035 recently reported feeling unease, stating that they can hear unintelligible whispering. Several others have suffered from severe migraines. Object has been monitored, but there is no change in its dormant behavior, and no sounds have been recorded. My personal correspondences are just that. Personal. Addendum 035-07 The walls of SCP-035's containment cell have suddenly began secreting a black substance. Tests on the substance have revealed it to be human blood. Although highly contaminated with foreign and unknown agents, substance is corrosive, having a pH of 4.5 and prolonged exposure to the walls has proven to be detrimental to their structural integrity. And the walls will ooze black slime. But really, I just get restless. More notably, it seems to be forming patterns on the walls. Several segments seem to be paragraphs in various languages, including Italian, Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit. Translation is pending. Other segments appear to be diagrams depicting ritualistic sacrifice and mutilation often for the arcane benefit of the person committing them. Several staff members have been shocked to note that all of the sacrifices bear an uncanny resemblance to various personnel and their loved ones, often in conflicting positions. Researchers while in the room examining these newly formed patterns have complained of hearing loud whispering and high-pitched unnerving laughter at irregular intervals. Personnel in the section working daily near and around SCP-035's containment unit have suffered catastrophic morale damage, with an all-time high in suicide rates and staff in that area, whether or not they have ever had contact with SCP-035. The only change in SCP-035's dormant behavior is regarding its containment glass case. Degradation of the case has increased to a high degree, enough so that the glass will occasionally shatter, causing a wide dispersal of SCP-035's contaminant. This occurs quite often at the most opportune times, so far resulting in six casualties and three fatalities of both research and cleanup staff. Trust me, there's worse things inmates are smearing on the walls here. Make no mistake, there are no grounds for a lecture on expenses of whims in this place. Addendum 035-08 In the light of the mass suicide slash homicides of the members of the research team tasked with translating the passages garnered from SCP-035's containment cell, the morale damage in the area, and the general loss of staff dealing with SCP-035 to either death or insanity, it has been decided to coat the inner and outer walls of the containment cell with SCP-148, which has proved well in the containment of SCP-132. See document 132-01, in order to hopefully block out the high levels of negativity being emitted by SCP-035. I'm aware of Ms. Dolores' work in our shared additional accommodations. Feels good to relate to someone on such a spiritual level. Perhaps sometime we can all work out a deal to have a little powwow. 148 is more than welcome to join in as well. Addendum 035-09 the use of SCP-148 has worked well, causing morale and suicide rates to return to near pre-SCP-035 rates. However, the material appears to facilitate the negativity within the cell, causing a variable greenhouse effect inside. Personnel inside the cell have stated that they feel a heavy sense of dread, fear, anger, and general depression. 
as well as hearing constant, nearly inaudible whispering upon entry. A prolonged stay causes severe migraines, suicidal tendencies, heavy hemorrhaging of blood vessels around the eyes and inside the mouth and nose, general hostility to others, and for the whispering to increase to almost deafening volumes, intersected by a constant mocking laughter. The exposure of more than three hours inevitably results in the subject falling into a deep psychosis and attempting to harm either themselves or others. Most spoke in Latin or Greek, despite the fact that several did not previously know how to speak said languages beforehand. The presence of blood in both word and diagram formations has increased disproportionately, the walls becoming cluttered, and the formations beginning to overlap each other. The substance has proven to be both difficult to clean and even more corrosive than was originally recorded, with a pH of roughly 2.4. General estimation gives the current walls a life of two months before they will need replacement. It is becoming gradually more and more difficult to contain SCP-035, and the debate to reinstate its host privileges has once again come up. Denied. <laughs> host privileges were revoked. My friend and I put on a catatonic performance. These notes of observation are supposedly all about me, but they also hold a mirror to your choices. Your results. Addendum 035-10. The walls, ceiling, and floor of SCP-035's containment cell have now been completely saturated in blood. All personnel entering and guarding the area must wear full hazmat protection suits. Constant cleaning efforts are being instated. I won't deny my high maintenance nature, but you're all doing great. Addendum 035-11 The magnitude, intensity, and recurrence of the phenomena that occur within SCP-035's containment cell have increased to an alarming degree. The cell door has been known to become locked of its own accord while personnel are inside, and unable to be opened for a period of time. Appendages form out of the larger puddles of blood, and often attempt to grab and harm personnel near them. Blurry apparitions have started appearing to staff, Electronic devices no longer work inside the cell, and the light cannot be turned on, though there is no physical reason why it does not work, forcing those entering to use non-electronic based light sources. Cleaning measures are having no discernible effect on the cell, and the walls are degrading at a very high rate, forcing them to be replaced within a week at best. Although the blood makes it nearly impossible to properly achieve this, SCP-035 may have to be moved to a new cell entirely with the old one sealed off and disengaged from the rest of the facility. And here we are, working out our relationship issues. Despite the reputation we've built for ourselves, we've become quite the venture together. I do hope we can continue to reach settlements and expand our horizons into a brighter future. At least for one of us.